I've written on a lot of films that take sometimes 10 years from the development of the story to when you see it, you know, at the premiere. And Saw is not that kind of a timeline. Um, for seven years, they made movies every single year, which means you wrap a film, and while they're editing the film, you're already writing the next one in order to be ready to start production to do another film. Um, and when Chris came to Lionsgate and said, I want to make a Saw film, he had a very, very small window of opportunity to actually shoot it before he went off to do another TV show. Uh, so we had to really buckle down and come up with ideas. And when you're under pressure like that, sometimes you come up with really exciting, interesting ideas because you're just throwing everything at the wall to figure out where, where to start, where to end. There's always a twist and saw. And the crazy thing about the twist and saw is that the entire audience knows that a twist is coming. So it's really a magic trick. You have to figure out how to trick the audience into kind of either A, forgetting that there's a twist and still surprising them, but, but more likely, you know every single person in the theater knows a twist is coming and you've got to come up with an idea that's going to still surprise them. I grew up watching Chris doing comedy specials and I mean he's he is in my opinion the greatest comedian of all time I mean that one special that he had um, seriously is one of the greatest so when I heard that he was interested in making a saw film I was flat I flabbergasted but also really really excited because he's such a force in comedy and I heard how much he loves horror movies and I thought well if he's if he's that good in one genre you can be that good in another genre um, and he's really proved that and he is a huge horror fan so we bonded because I've been writing horror for the last 20 years um, it's the love of my life and to, to find that connection with him was really really special it was a lot of fun uh, to start developing the, the, this particular film with him there's definitely a sense of apprehension when you're writing for such iconic actors, especially someone like Sam, Sam Jackson. You know, you're just expecting, well, there's going to be a mother in this movie. Like, there's, you, you know for a fact you're going to be writing the word mother when you cast Sam Jackson. Um, and the greatest part of him being on set was the very, very first day. His very first line in the very first take of his very first scene, he throws a glass against the wall and screams mother And after that cut, he basically turned to camera and said, well, we got that one out of the way.